friends, it's Vale and welcome back to my creative corner. Today I want to come on here and show you a junk journal I made and I'm quite proud of this one. It's the first journal I made from scratch, from the cover to the inserts, everything. Uh, usually, well before, I used to make junk journals out of book covers. For this one I wanted to challenge myself and actually make one starting from recycled Amazon packaging. So this is how my journal looks. I've been using it for quite a long time right now. This paper is actually vintage wrapping paper from the 80s. It was a gift from my dad to my mom and she kept the wrapping paper. It's gold reflective and it's just marvelous. I added little dangles to some bookmarks and the closure I made myself and it basically looks like this. I added three charms, this tiny piece of metal here, this tassel and this paper bead which was made by a crafty girl, I don't remember her name sadly, we did a swap a few years ago and she sent me some of these beautiful bead dangles so I wanted to include one. There are three inserts as you can see and this is a vintage button from my grandma. She used to be a seamstress so I removed the button part and I used it as an embellishment. So let's dive into and actually these are all different types of lace and fabrics. I'm really happy how these turned out. These are actually resin corners which were white in the beginning and then I colored them gold with a gold paste. So it's called Inca Gold if you're interested. So this is the inside. There are some gold doilies and I reinforced the spine and this is the back. Sorry. There's written handmade with love because it was. So I haven't completed it yet, but I just wanted to show you some of the pages. So let's dive into. Hi friends, let's dive into the journal. There are some not completed pages, but we'll skip those. There, there's going to be many printables from a super talented lady I met on Instagram. Her name is Heather. You can find her at Little Joyce of Bujo. She has an Etsy shop where she sells printables. They are amazing. Look at this one. So the first full page is this one. This piece and this one are from Heather. This was made by me. It's an image from Pinterest and I made it into a journaling card. Then we have my beautiful nonna here. She's my grandmother. We are Italian. This is me. This is again from Heather and this is a cute tag I made with a stamp. My nonna, once again, these are from Heather. This is a book page. Beautiful lace here. This is a cottage themed page. I love English cottages. This is a perfumed sach sachet for drawers or actually it used to be. I recycled the packaging. This Italian brand makes such a cute botanical packaging. And this is a cute <clears throat> journaling spot you can take out. The, p the images are from the internet. This is an inspo page for my dream house one day. I love the cottage core style so much. Again, a cute cottage. This is a die from Axion. So let's go again. This is a summary spread. This is me. As you can see, many pages are still yet to complete. Here we have another spread. This is more recent. This was me, sorry for the glare, last summer in Lisbon, Portugal. And this is a vellum quilt I printed. These are flowers made out of paper and washi tape. I just used my big shot to cut them using a cutting die. Here we have a more vintage page. This is from Heather. This was just watercolor and stenciling experiments from me. 
this whole page is a printable from Heather. Here there is a background which is scrapbook paper and then these two are printables from her as well. Let's go inside the second insert and this was dedicated pretty much to the Junk Journal July 2022 challenge by hosted by Meg Journals over on Instagram and YouTube. You can read the prompts with hashtags, uh, sorry, hashtags on every page. I love The Secret Garden. It's one of my favorite books from my childhood and here we have more spreads here I made a cute booklet this is the same brand of the sachet from the first pages and again printables from Heather I'll put it back later again a printable from Heather these two and this is a fold away page as you can see there are many details and this is actually folded it's an origami paper folded to make a skirt again more prompts you can read them like this is symmetry and then we have this is one of my favorite pages with this quote this is from heather i think this one too i'm not sure this is clashing patterns and then we have Time Out and Fussy Cut. This was Fussy Cut by me. It was a real pain, but I really like how it turned out. This is a printable and the rest it was just collaging made by me. This page I have uh, some experiment with alcohol inks, which turned pretty bad because it damaged this page. As you can see, it wasn't fully dried. This used to be a mirror mirror on the wall spread, but don't like it very much. Then we have here some collage with some paper in the background. This is a magazine page. Again, this is a printable from Heather as well as this one. This is from the internet. Here are more prompts. So we have this texture one. And then here we have others. I won't, I won't go into too much detail. These are from Pinterest. I love Pinterest as you can see. Again some more. These were made out of my own, sorry, my own hand carved stamps. This is a cute tag I made. This is a black and white spread. Sorry. Again, beautiful peonies. They are my favorite flowers. This is a vellum piece. It says nothing is worth more than this day by good. Cute collage. This is another one of my favorite pages. This is actually a leaflet from an art exhibition I went to. Like the background, I just added some splatters and the cute stars and the lady and the quote. This is the middle of the journal, hence we have the little closure. I'll just go pretty fast. <laughs> just because this is from Heather as well, another collection of hers. This is again from Heather, this I added with my label maker. And this was the last page for the junk journal july thing challenge let's move on to more complete pages as you can see these are yet to be finished these are some seaside themed pages from last year these are photos by me and these are printables from heather again i'm not sponsored or anything i just love her printables this was me at the sea and this is here a photo and the rest are just printables from Heather once again. Then let's move on to the last insert. This is from October 2022 when I adopted a kitten. These are more printables like this one and this one from Heather. This was made by me. Again, another of her printables. I just collaged with some washi tape. This is a stamp I hand carved. Real music sheet. This was a printable. I just added my own quote in the handwriting. So, and this is again a printable of hers. It's just an envelope, which I added my own writing to. 
inside there's this beautiful card which is also one of her printables and I will journal on this one this is again from Heather this spread is basically themed around grandma's homemade strawberry jam and you guessed it these are also printables from Heather this was of Pinterest but it looks like me and my grandma when I was a child and this again from Heather these are printables or maybe not maybe these were off the internet I don't remember anyways this for sure this is from Heather and my mom and my grandma have these vivid memories of us making strawberry jam and I have them too this was hand stitched not hand stitched sorry my machine stitched by my grandma this tag this is from one of the actual jam vases we eat during the year and I keep it these are from Heather this is again another one of my favorite pages there are some gold splatters I hope you can appreciate them again this one oh sorry only this one this is a printable from Heather there's a quote on here look at the beautiful detail here with the trim this is another set of printables centered around the literature and books and tea look how amazing that is here we have autumn with this cute robin this is a little tea bag holder I got as a gift and there are just a few more pages left this was made like yesterday because today is Easter 2023 these are stamps from creative path it's a shop on aliexpress this is also their paper and this is a journaling card for their easter spring collection we have an autumn page here and then let's find more pages this is a napkin which i've splattered with some white ink and i think we're almost at the end these are two spreads dedicated to queen elizabeth they were made to commemorate her death and life and yeah we're pretty much done i really hope you enjoyed the flip through although not every page is finished and thank you so much for watching follow me on instagram and tiktok my username is valis creative corner as you can read here and here bye